Well, at our last performance review we got a live chicken so we don't have anything else to add to our curio shelf. We should have welded a shelf into the uh, into the ones we just made. And I noticed they didn't have a food dispenser in the one we made. Well that's good because that would have probably been a real pain to do. Anyway, let's see what is in resource site 338.11. And we've got a guided javelin type 2. Now we've already made a guided javelin once upon a time I believe. But it looks like we might have a new block. What is that? Uh, let's see. We have a lifter block. Oh, okay. Let's grab that guy. I don't think we're going to need a rotator this time. Well, we might. Uh, oh, and we got a dude over here. No, I don't want to run it. <laughs> I want to play the card. end of the line. God, if you're there, I just want to say one. Oh, this guy got crushed. Rough. Well, anyway, if you're hearing this, I'm already gone. Not gone gone like this guy. I mean, I've escaped. I've left these messages to encourage you. There is hope. There are others out there. And I'm going to find them. It all started one night when I saw a face in the monitor in my cell. It was there for just a fraction of a second before it disappeared into the noise. <laughs> but I saw it, even though the aliens were jamming the signal. You see that structure on the asteroid over there? What? Looks kind of like an ancient temple. That's where I built my escape pod. I've got a radio transceiver stashed there too, and I've been saving food pellets. Good luck. Maybe I'll see you after this is all over. How did, how did you get to another asteroid? When I go beyond the edge, yeah, I get the warning there, and I'm thinking probably gonna get zapped. The only thing I see it looks like an ancient temple is this thing. But what is in this thing here? Hold on, we have a mystery to solve. Either girl crazy. Or got a resistance cell forming up or something here. What, what's in these rooms? Nothing. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I don't know what all that's about, but uh, we better get to work here. So we got a nose cone, a thruster, and uh, fuel cells here. And the fuel cells are coming out vertically, which is what we need them to do. So we need a. Um, we need the thruster to come out and we need to put these guys on top so I guess we'll have to use lifter blocks for that and then we'll definitely have to use a lifter block to make it go up so what does a lifter block do exactly? Well, let's try it okay so it goes up how many blocks does it go up? there's one two three four five about to there right? Okay, uh, can we stop it from going up? Yes, all right, so we can make it go to the height we want it to um, by doing that. Can we make it push? Uh, maybe not that way, let's try this. Okay, so if we put a block there to hold it, Block here. Uh, let's put a sensor in here. Let's put a detector there. Let's put a pusher there. So if we can get a block up and stop it, can we push it? Yes, and it falls. Okay. So could we then do this. Can we double lift it? Sorry, a little experimentation stage here because I don't quite know how this thing works yet. Actually, let's do it one more up. It's going to be right there. So, block, then a lifter block right there. So, oop, don't need to rotate it. Yeah, we can double stage lift it. So, we could, we could boost it an infinite amount um, in theory. 
All right, well, that's uh, that's all good news, but what we need is for this guy to come here and stay. Uh, we probably want to get a little more room. So let's do that. Let's put this one on a platform for now. We don't, we don't need to deal with it just yet. So what we're going to need is for... Well, we could do that, actually. Just let the other blocks push it out. We need three of these. It might not be a bad idea to get them kind of all in one spot. Oh no. No no no. I don't want to do it that way. Well whatever. Let's just let's just try to push them up. Uh, okay, so we'll put no. We'll put a lifter block here. Just one, please. Thank you. And then we need to push it out on this side. But we need it to come over there. All we need to have happen, though, is for it to come up a bit. Um, how much does it need to come up? Well, as much as... Okay, that'll be the thruster. One, two, three. That's the segment. So we need to come to at least there. So here's where we want to push it over. And here's the sensor to tell when it gets up there. Here's a block to block it, and here's a block to, nope, nope, yep, no. <laughs> uh, and then here's a the thingy to drop it on, right? One block, that's the thruster, two blocks, three blocks, four blocks. That is our whole unit except for the nose cone. So how, how does this run so far? Okay, yeah, well, that won't work because we need to have a, uh, we need to have it be a platform so it doesn't keep moving. Okay, let's try it. It should, it, this should assemble it. I mean, put it there at least. Okay, now the problem is we can't actually do anything with it here. This is gonna need to come out further so we can push it further along when it's done but it's a start. We could push it to the left, but not if we need to have welders. So that's not going to work there. All right, let me move this out a little bit and uh, see if we can work it out. All right, here's what I got. I don't know if this is going to work long term, but we build the rocket there. Now, we need to weld it and get it off the platform so another one can go. So I'm thinking that the only way we can push it is this way. Will that push? Yeah, it will. So we're going to need to put that there, and then we're going to need some welders. So hopefully these won't weld it while it's falling. I don't think they will. And then what we need is... Um, we need another sensor that's going to trip. How is it going to trip? Boy, I'm not real sure how we could uh, trip it without making this go a little bit higher. Um, that's going to fall in and trigger once. And when that triggers once... Here, let's do this instead. Okay, so if we put a conveyor here and like that, right? then this can be... oh no, it has to come out first. It has to come out first. Dang it. Um, that's not going to work well. Mm. What I'm trying to do is make this block be a sensor, right? But the only way to make it be a sensor is if I have a thing push it, and there's not enough room to have a thing push it. So, um, and also it needs to be the first block to come out. Well, a little bit of a timing issue with this puzzle, I think. Let's just try it like this and see what happens. Oh, that, that falls, of course, because I don't have a conveyor there. All right, let's try it. Bottom falls, welded, welded, welded. Now, we can't push it, though, because we have to wait for this last block. We need to detect this last block. I can't put a sensor here because this needs to be not in the way. Although I could have it fall down sooner. How would that work? 
it's still going to detect every time a block falls and try to push. That would be okay if we only have it push the top one. No, that wouldn't be okay. I don't think it'll work. Let's see. Try a sensor right there, facing down. And we put that there. Probably don't want to do that. And then, nope, on the bottom. I don't think that's going to work, but let's try it. I think what it's going to do is I think it's going to push every single one of these rocket fuel blocks right off. Yep. Yep, that's not going to work. Okay. Well, need to work on this a bit more, and uh, and I'll come back when I get something a little bit more workable. But I think something like this works. It's just a matter of getting the stuff configured so that it can push and pull and do what it needs to do. All right, I'll be back in a little while. All right, guys, I think I got it. It's a little complex uh, looking. So our, uh, our rocket motor comes out. It goes over here. It lands right there. Our three guys come out from down here. Well, they come out one by one, and they go up the thing, trip that sensor, get pushed onto this conveyor belt, fall down here. We weld these three independently, and the reason for that is there's no good way to send a stack forward without either welding them first and using one pusher block, or um, having pusher blocks for each one. So these all get welded individually, uh, and how do they get pushed forward? Oh, they get pushed forward by the next block that comes. So we got our stack, it gets pushed forward by the next block that comes, it comes over here, it falls on top of the rocket engine, it gets welded to the rocket engine, and then pushed forward by this sensor-pusher combination. It comes over here, lands over here. Our nose cone comes out here, it gets a little bit of a delay by sitting on that block. It comes over here, gets levitated up, pushed over when it reaches here, hits that conveyor, slides into place on top and gets welded to the top. At the same time, this sensor trips, pushes this block, and then pushes it out, hopefully onto this conveyor. I think it works. Let's try it out. Okay, fast forwarding. So there's our uh, fuel section, rocket engine, and the tip. So, I believe that is going to work. Yeah, it seems to work over long term. So, all we need to do now is get it up to there. So, maybe we can push forward a little bit so there's no delay. No potential delay. Unfortunately, we can't save on any conveyors here. And we need to levitate it up to a certain uh, level at which then we need to push it. So we need to throw down one of these blocks and let's see how high we can get this thing. Two, three, four, five. That's the top of the rocket right there. So, oh, you know what? Actually, let's don't do this. Let's make it straight. That way we can just push it into line with that. So if we do... And then here we'll have our lifter block. Here we'll build our pusher tower. One, two, three, four. And the top one is five. Nope. I cannot seem to hit the right button there. I always hit R for rotate. All right, here's going to be our sensor. So we want, oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on, that's not going to work, that's not going to work. We want to push it when it reaches the height we want it to get to. So we don't want that sensor there. We want to see how far up the thing can go. Let's do that. Actually, hang on, let me put some more blocks up here. And we'll just judge how high the thing goes. Okay, so R to run, fast F to fast forward. Here comes our first rocket. It goes up to there, which is not quite the height we needed to get to, but that's okay. Here's where we'll put our first sensor, and then we'll delete these blocks, and we'll delete that, and now we'll get pushed over to right here. So we need to build up 
Let's build up. I'm glad to learn that these blocks do not cost us anything. And then we want it to go that way. So let's try. Oh, no, that is the right height. Well, that's gonna be rather perfect then, I think. Let's fast forward. I thought we were gonna have to go one more up. And bam, there we go. We got it. Let's see how we did. Footprint cycles look, or blocks look pretty low. Cycles are kind of high, but I think we can bump the input rate. There we go. Okay, dead average on everything, except block score is a little high. Let's try again with the input rate turned up and see if it works. Looks like it's gonna. Yeah, I think it is, so we'll, we'll do well on cycles then, in that case. Yeah, okay. Not much better, actually. We saved by 30 cycles. That's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that score. And uh, hopefully we got time for another one here. So here's our block, a lifter block. Let's see if we can figure out what this is. Mm, yeah, it doesn't really tell us anything new about it. And next we have a Ganese chair. A nice chair? Nice chair? I don't know what the heck it is. We'll see what that is in just a second. Right, we're back. I was just checking how long that last one had taken on the recording because I had to break it into a couple parts. So just wanted to make sure we weren't going to go too super long on this. What do we got over here? Well, we got a guy, so let's listen to what he has to say. It looks like he died of loneliness or something. Did you ever watch Star she? Voyager? Probably not. It ran for half a season on Fox before being unjustly cancelled. <laughs> I started an online petition about it, but then I got abducted by aliens. Is that ironic? <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, this place okay. reminds me of that episode in the asteroid field. What's that? I wonder if the aliens even keep an eye on me. Huh. As long as I'm alive and making the weird knickknacks and things, they don't care. I could be down here having a party. Do they even know what a party is? Okay. What was that noise? Well, alright. Um, I don't see any signs of the temple that was spoken of. Uh, although all of these buildings do look rather odd. I don't see any on other asteroids. I only see the ones we're on. Uh, we gotta build the weird knickknack here, apparently, out of blocks, and that's pretty much it. I have no doubt there will be some twists to it, but let me see if I can get the blocks into that configuration. It's going to take some mucking about, I suppose, but in general it shouldn't be that hard. I'm guessing we should assemble the slices first and then weld the slices together somehow. So let me uh, let me work on it a little bit and we'll worry about her potty later. Alright, see you guys soon. Okay, well, a quick analysis of the object shows us that we have four blocks on this side and eight on this side. So this will be the start of it, is dividing the blocks this way. So we're going to get one for every two we get over here. The back one has twice as many as the first one. So that's the first start, of uh, the first bit of getting the blocks divided up. Now we just have to get them into the right shape. So uh, back to it. All right, well, getting them in the right shape turned to be a little complex. Uh, what I figured is we need four, uh, three welded together and one on top. So it originally started with trying to push them different directions, but then I realized that it's easy enough just to bring three in here, weld those, and push both units off. So this unit comes forward, falls down to here. Um, this pusher, or blocker, is extended while there's nothing sitting here. So it's gonna wait for this single block, which comes last, to land on top. And then rather trying to rig up some kind of pusher mechanism, I just have it sitting on an active conveyor. So, if we run it, we'll see that it assembles our blocks, brings it down, holds it in place until it's assembled. And let's make sure it does a second cycle for us. It does, yeah. So now we've got that one taken care of. Good deal. Let's try to see what about this one which is three high for two and then two right there so we need to get two two sets of three and one set of two assembled so possibly more complex mm -hmm. 
Yep, probably. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, let's see how this works. So rather than try to build this weird 332 structure, I thought, what if we just waste one block, right? So what if we have, and this is gonna mess our ratios up a little bit, so it's probably not a good thing, but uh, what if we just build stacks of two, weld them up into a block of uh, two by three, and then use an eviscerator to remove one block? We're gonna get a little extra buildup over here, but it might work. So when there's nothing there, this is gonna push forward. That's gonna make us wait for two blocks to come weld them together then let them through and then they're gonna get pushed onto here and then once we've got three it'll push it that way and forward so if we put a an eviscerator right here uh, right there actually that ought to take our notch out and then we can rotate the thing into place so let's try this Hopefully it'll work. All right, there's our shape. Cool. Now we just need to rotate it into place. So, um, can we do that right there, or do we have to take it out? I feel like we have to probably take it out some more. So, we could change the shape of this. Let's change the shape of this. And then we can just continue to carry it out this way, maybe. And then I'm not sure how far out we can move it before we rotate it. Let's try putting a rotator right there and see if it'll do it. Oops, I don't have a rotator. Okay. Well, uh, what am I not going to need now? Uh, well, I probably won't need an eviscerator again. So let's put a rotator right there and then let's try to carry it one more forward and see if that works. Okay. This could be a long episode here, even with a lot of cuts. Okay, that's rotated in the correct direction. And it's actually almost far forward enough. So we could just bring it forward one more, bring that one out. It's already in the correct orientation, so we just need to slide it in place, weld them, and when they're in place, ship them forward. So. Let's think about how to do that. I need to bring this forward one more. No. All right, so let me do that and uh, see if I can get them lined up. Oh, derp. The back ones are supposed to be three high, so I don't quite have it down yet. So I'm gonna have to revise all of this to try to make these things three high, which means bringing the whole thing out a little bit more. But I do have the basic structure here down, so let's watch how this works. So this piece is going to come, it's going to end up in there first, although it won't next time I think. And so it's being held until that pushes, until the second piece comes in. I uh, might have to change what it's triggering on, but as you can see, I didn't manage to build these. So, um, yeah, I'll get that done and uh, be back to show the final. Alright, I think we got it. Uh, not transporting it in yet, but let's take a look block score is going to be horrible on this but so we're building our three over here cutting off a piece of it they all fall down into there so all we need to do is have a trigger uh, based on which one gets there first and I didn't see which one gets there first so let's see which one is gonna be our guy uh, that one gets there first so what we need to do is have a sensor right above here and I guess we can build it with this. So we need to go uh, one right there. We're gonna trigger on that block right there. So I think that we can put a sensor right there. Is that gonna get it? I think it might. And it's not gonna block anything. So let's see if this works. Fast forwarding. Uh, yeah, that does work, I believe. Um, so now we just need to make it go forward. Forward. Uh, no. Then over one. And then forward again. And that ought to get it. No, we're going to need one more of these. Okay. Well, block score not so good this time. Although... We don't need that one. Yeah. Let's try this. 
And we actually don't need some of those in there except for, for support. So, uh, it takes a little while to do. Sorry about that. There we go. Cut and turn and not sliding forward. Why are we not sliding forward? Because I don't have that in the right place. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, let's try to get it in the right place. Okay, we want you here, not there. Alright, one more time. I don't guarantee this is going to work. Come on. Yeah, oh, and the block keeps her from sliding into place. Okay. So we need it to fall down a little earlier. And unfortunately, that's going to pull it forward. So we can put that over here. Like that. And then we need to make that go like that. That would have pulled it forward. I think you probably see that. But that ought to hold it in place. Okay. Yeah, okay, now why'd you stop? Why'd you stop? Okay, because I don't have anything pushing it forward over here. Ew, the block pushed it back. Of course it did. Okay, so we can't have the block pushing it back. Or we can have the block pushing it back, but we just need it to... Do that. One, two, three. The block would push it back to there. It actually doesn't need to go over anymore. The block will do our job for us. And that ought to get it. Okay, one more time. Come on. Fast, fast. Fast like rabbits. Let's make this thing. Bam. Okay, good job. Um, should we go ahead and boost cycles now? Let's let it run. We've come this far. We might as well see how it's doing. What a crazy contraption that is. Man, that reminds me of playing Mousetrap when I was a kid. Crazy Rube Goldberg manufacturing machines here. If I haven't said, I love this game. It's just it's so fun. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, we had a problem. Houston, there was a problem. Well, crap. Okay, um, I'm going to have to come back to this one from the drawing board. Sorry, guys. I uh, didn't know there was going to get a timing sequence. Our tenth one, too. Or no. Actually, I'm not sure which one it was. But we're going to have to have a delay back here for something. Probably take out a block, like waste a block or something like that. I think that might be what we have to do. Because we're just going to have too many pieces of this puzzle. What if we slip one? All right, all right, come on, we gotta solve this. If we just put a pusher block right here and waste a block, send it over the edge of the cliff, right? Will this solve our problem? These will be slower getting there, which shouldn't cause a problem. No, I don't think it will, actually. Okay, we're gonna go again, fast. Fast. There we go. Wasting a block over there. Hopefully. Are we wasting a block? No, we're not wasting a block. We need to make sure we're wasting a block. Okay. We can make sure we're wasting a block by putting that there. Alright. Okay, one more time. One more time. I'm going for gold. Are we wasting a block? Yes, we are. Good. Okay. And are we getting this assembled right? We're not. What the heck? I wasn't even watching. What's going on over here? It bumped it out because it came first. All right. Um, well, okay, I tell you, we gotta go. Um, this has gone on too long, so I'm not gonna be able to continue. We'll get this thing solved uh, beginning of next, uh, and next time. I'll show you whatever fix I made to make it happen. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Alright guys, it was a quick enough fix. It was just simply that we were detecting on the big block, which was getting there first instead of last. So now everything holds up just fine, although I think after that it would get bad. Okay, well our block score and footprint score and cycle score really aren't as bad as I thought they would be. Huh, alright. Well, I guess we did okay. 
So next we got a relay satellite, a terrestrial survey, or an anti-javelin point defense, and our performance review. And then we have a whole nother site to go. So I guess there will be a few more episodes of this. I will see you guys next time around. Thanks very much for joining me for Infinifactory. Hopefully you're enjoying this half as much as I am, because I'm enjoying it a lot. See ya. Bye.